Hi, this is Kyle with 5 Minute Guide, and today I'm going to teach you how to make an image that's tileable. Um, whereas before I did one where it is tiled with borders, well, this time I'm going to take a complex image and make it so that you can loop it in any direction that you want um, without having any edges, completely seamless. Alright, so first thing you need to do is you need to select, so we're going to hit the, the bounding box up here, but I, I just imported an image, um, just, you know, went outside, took a picture of some grass, and, or whatever this stuff is, and then, um, you know, just brought it right into GIMP. Alright, so, um, I actually already did one side, and so we're just going to do the other side, and then I'll show you how it works. So, what we do is you hit the rectangular selector tool, and what we want to do is we want to go across um, the entire page and select a portion that's fairly neutral. Um, probably our best bet will be probably our best bet will be around here. So that's that's probably our best shot there. So. We'll select that portion. It's fairly neutral. There's not a whole lot of flowers or busyness going on. It's mainly just regular green. All right, so we'll go Apple C. I'm on a Mac, otherwise it's Control C, and then Apple or Control V. And then what we'll do is we'll take this and we'll hit, we'll hold Apple or Control, I guess, for PC. I'm not sure if that's correct or not. Um, and what you want to do is, what that does is it centers you, it snaps, um, it, so you can't go too far off to either side. And then on the left corner there, um, my palette is kind of almost encroaching upon it, but you can see a black arrow, and you want that black arrow to be right in the middle of the edge of your, um, your the ending of your photo. Um, so you want that black arrow to be right there. Also the uh, plus sign, which is the, the center of your object, both the arrow and the plus sign in the middle here are um, the center of the selection. And you want those to be right on the edge. All right, that's, that's crucial. All right, and then we're gonna Apple V to create another one. And we're gonna drag that up here Apple again to center it, and then we're going to rest that X right on the edge there. All right. Okay, so now we have both of these, you know, set up appropriately. But as you can see, they have edges. So if I like click off this, as you can see, there are edges, there are seams that you can see running clearly right across the whole entire image. So what we're going to do is hit the smudge tool here. You can use the uh, the stamp tool um, and pull from other areas and whatnot, and that will probably give you a better look. Um, but I'm not being too picky right now, and I just want to kind of quickly show you how to do this. So what you're going to do is you're going to kind of morph that edge. You don't want to touch the very edge here. You don't want to touch anything on the edge. And I've already done um, this side before I started this tutorial. So I'm not going to want to touch anything on that edge or this or the bottom or top edge. Anything on the edges you don't want to touch. Um, you want to leave those. So what we're going to have to do is just touch up little parts um, and kind of make them look uniform. Like I said, if you wanted to spend um, a lot of time selecting new points and you know adding stuff and whatnot, the rubber stamp tool would really work well for this. Um, however, I I don't know. I I don't know. I'm just using the smudge tool. Um, it kind of gives it a, a quicker and more of a, a faded look, so I don't have to worry about creating new edges. Um, 
yeah, it just kind of it just kind of blends it in. And I can kind of morph it a little bit more um, freely with uh, with this tool. So, I mean, basically, it's it's clover, or a subspecies of clover. So, um, you know, basically, I'm just making um, little round shapes. You know, like if you see you see something like this, and you're just like, okay, so I'll just. I'll just make that into a more roundish shape. And there you go. There it is. You know, something that just got the 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 tail end cut off. You just kind of round it out. So Yeah, and uh yeah, feel free to zoom in because that's going to help out a lot for you know the detail work. Now this was a pretty crisp image, so you know having all these smudge marks in here and whatnot probably not the best. Um, but I'm actually doing this for a Blender tutorial that I'm going to be working on later. Um, for an image that I'm going to tile it up and it's going to be um, just super magnified so you're not going to really see um, too much but you would notice um, you would notice a line like if there was an abrupt line right straight through that that you would you would pick up on it's weird um, the human mind actually has really good pattern recognition. Um, so I'm actually going to probably speed through this and uh, let you guys see the end result, but you don't have to watch the whole, the whole thing. Now that we have this object, um, we we you know already set that all up. Let's save this. Um, actually, let's let's just export it for now. Um, let's export that. And yeah, let's do let's do clover. And let's call it loop. And sure, right. So let's, I'm going to use it in here. So in case you've never used Blender before, this is a 3D rendering program. Um, so I might give you a little tip on this while I'm at it. All right. Okay. Unwrap Smart UV project that'll work. All right, so we're gonna go to image. We're gonna go to open image. We're gonna go to five guide stop photography grass clover loop. Open that. All right, so this is our image. We're going to scale this up so that it'll be looping throughout it and it even starts off um, in the middle of the object. So, uh, yeah, probably uh, need to give this thing a material. Okay, now let's see what we got. All right, so you can still see some pattern recognition. There's still some some stuff going on. There's no direct line seams. You can kind of see like a gradient. It's going kind of almost, it's almost like 
like a malleable moving scene sort of so it wasn't perfect um, but it is what it is um, for this particular one I think it'll work I think what I'll do is I'll just scale it down a little bit so um, UV editing scale and just bring it down a little bit and that might give it too much definition but well, let's see well, that doesn't look too bad actually um, it's like clearly gla grass and it looks like it's a small <laughs> it's like a small tiny little house um, but uh, but yeah I mean you can do this I mean, this is a tutorial so I mean you can do this with you know a mountainscape you can do this with clouds you can do this with you know all sorts of things and if you want to have them you know tiled that's that's one way you can do it I mean with any image you're going to be able to pick up on pattern recognition if you make it too much um, too much of it available um, like you can see like right now like this is the same exact image as this um, you know this cluster so I mean that's that's just gonna happen you're not gonna be able to avoid that um, but those hard edges those hard seams that's what you really want to avoid that was how you make a seamlessly tileable um, photo so hope you enjoyed it hope it uh, serves you well um, this is Kyle with 5-Minute Guide.